video we will be discussing about what happened after the great revolt of 1857 uh, we know that uh, the first war of independence we usually say about india so after 1857 these are the changes british have made to made so let's see what are the important changes this will give an idea so first thing is reorganization is inevitable inevitable action we know that because of the current uh, east india companies ruling the people in india was uh, really devastated by their policies all those things so reorganization is needed and there is also one thing is like in british in britain in newspapers london times and all uh, every time they are saying that okay east there must be a permission for no, other than east india company also somebody else also given charters to have trade and all those stuff and uh, the inefficiency of east india company and corruption what have which east india company officials are doing here so there is an act of 1858 that transferred power to british crown okay there is an act came so that uh, the from east india company the it is power transferred to british crown and uh, then secretary of uh, secretary of state is appointed and uh, another change was they divided india into provinces like uh, then bengal madras bombay called presidencies so there are three presidencies like bengal madras and bombay and they started decentralization everyone is uh, know about decentralization so like um, and then uh, began provincial administration so they have like central there is a power then the power is uh, distributed among different departments and uh, then to local bodies so there is a proper decentralization path we can see and uh, most of this thing we know for doing all these uh, reforms they need uh, money there are all these things are done by increasing taxes only and we know that the uh, 1857 revolt the starting point or starting spark was because of uh the enfield rifles that greased the cartridges there is a suspension of that uh, it was using uh, like pig and cows things so army is a starting point of revolt then army carefully reorganized how they are reorganized in this european domination is always in this made european dom- domination is higher in army like most of the top posts are uh, Uh, occupied by the british and also the number also increased and they have st- uh, done starting they are already doing that policy of divide and rule that is the idea they used used in india to rule and uh, martial and non martial classes have been made and uh, princely states with the british in reference so princely states are there but uh, british will be interfering in that thing so it's mostly in their control and they are favoring hindu and muslims and attacked at different times they were they are not biased towards hindu or muslims but they are favoring both but different times so divide and rule there is some tension they want to create between hindu and muslims then only they can divide and rule properly and uh, educated indians threats like disloyal babu servants that is one thing okay when the people get english education or they become aware of their rights privileges all those stuff and uh, samindars were rewarded by british why samindars were rewarded by british because during the revolt time samindwa samindars were with the side of british so obviously after the suppressing the revolt they have rewarded the samindars and uh, social reform efforts completely stopped we know that one of the point is that british have stopped like banned uh, sadi as well as that uh, child marriage and as well as widow remarriage they have bring that reform these things uh, there is a idea of like most of the indians thought they are trying to destroy our culture and all those stuff also they are trying to impose because of the english education and all those way of their living teaching to the people they thought that they are trying to convert into christianity and all those stuff so social reforms efforts like they have stopped that sadi child marriage and also promoted widow remarriage all those stuff they have completely stopped with like new reforms and uh, they obviously standing against sadi cause disliked by people obviously that is one of the popular reason and uh, annexing different places like awad and uh, jhansi many places like that is also one important stop starting of the revolt we know that st- revolt started with 
in the army at the Meerut. From there, it was gradually like it's a chronological order. It was uh, continuing like one army base. When the news come to another army base, people are started. They started uh, uh, acquiring the arms, um, ammunition, and uh, the uh, major number of Europeans were killed. So these m many things happen. It started and presence joined, and so many people which are uh, like waiting for their chance, like they are very much dissatisfied about the British East India Company rule that all caused the revolt of 1850s and we can say it is our first war of independence so after that these are the imports that beat British after suppressing the report British revolt British uh, done all these reforms so that it won't happen again okay so important thing we have to see that uh, that 1850s uh, 8 act the power is transferred to British Crown, then their uh, proper structure decentralization happened, Secretary of State uh, added and uh, proper decentralization is happened like provincial, local bodies and everything is done by increasing taxes, another burden to the people and army is carefully reor uh, reorganized like uh, they won't let mingle that uh, Hindu, Muslims, they have divided in different things but the divide and rule uh, concept and the European domination they have ensured okay then hindu obviously the divide and rule things so these are the things which happened and the reforms taken by british after the revolt of 1857 if you like the video subscribe to my channel thank you